Hey there, if you're looking for a video editor that's easy to use, affordable, and has a wide range of features, then definitely check out this video. Today I'm going to show you the Movavi Video Editor. Now I've been using the Movavi Video Editor for a couple of months on my videos and I have to say I'm very impressed with it. Now I will say it is not the most sophisticated video editor in the world. So if you need more sophisticated video editing, this may not be the tool for you. But if you need to do more basic editing, cutting clips, splicing them together, adding in titles, adding in transitions, doing pan and zoom, then this is definitely a tool that you want to check out. And the other thing that I like about the Movavi Video Editor is that they're continually updating it, continually making it better. Hey, this is Ed Herzog, and I'm here to help you build and grow your online business via video. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that you're the first to know when I upload a new video. Now let's head over to the computer and take a look at the Movavi Video Editor. So here we are looking at the Movavi Video Editor. And let me say first off, as I'm going through this review, if you say, hey, this is cool, I wanna check this out, maybe even buy it, I'll have a link in the video description below so you can go directly to the Movavi Video Editor and learn more and again, perhaps buy it. I'll also mention I'm actually recording this video with the Movavi Screen Recorder. Now this is a separate program, but it's also very good and also very affordable. And sometime in the future, I'll do a, a review of the Movavi Screen Recorder. But just so you know, you're kind of getting a, a two for one here. So you'll see the video editor, but this is being recorded with the Movavi Screen Recorder. So let's start with these options here. So obviously you can first import files. So you can import video files, you can import sound files, you can import still photos, whatever it is that you need to create your particular video. So you just click here and the add files, you can drag files or folders right here. Here is your media bin. So once you've added your files, they'll show up over here and you can group these into folders if you need to. Here they do have some pre-built in sounds. I found these aren't really, you know, it's not that great, not that exciting. There aren't a lot of them, but they are there if you wanna check them out. Same thing with the music. I've used a few of these in my videos. Again, it's not a huge selection. It's not kind of one of the main features of this particular program, but they do have some built-in music sound files if you wanna check these out. Uh, again, sample videos, same thing. They do have some built in here if these are of any use to you. I haven't actually used any of these, but if you need these for any particular project, they are there. Backgrounds, these might be of a bit more use for people. Again, not a wide range, but there are some backgrounds here if you wanna add backgrounds to your videos. And then finally, effect packages. So they do have uh, add-ons, effect package add-ons, if you want to buy these, these are separate purchases. Uh, and you can see they have a wide range of these here. I'd say it's probably about 100 different effect packages for different, different themes, depending on what sort of videos you wanna create. I actually do have one here that I bought. Uh, it's for a YouTube channel. Obviously, it makes sense for me to have bought that one. It gives me some different transitions, some different uh, intro screens, outro screens, that sort of stuff. So they do have these effect packages. And if you buy one and install it, you can see it right here. Now, coming back here to File Import, you see that you have options for recording video, capture screencast, record audio, and quick video. Record video is obviously if you want to record a video, a video of your face, you can do this directly within the video editor itself. Capture screencast, you can obviously use to record your screen. Now this is not going to have all the bells and whistles of the separate screen recorder that I bought, but this feature is here if you want to use it. Then here you can record your audio. So if you want to do a voiceover, you have that option. And then finally, let's take a look at quick video because I actually had to Google this in order to know what it was. So it says here, quick video mode, you can use the montage wizard to automatically build a video for you in minutes. All you need to do is provide the wizard with some video clips or photos, choose a music track, and let the wizard cut and build the video for you. You can also, also use the montage wizard to make slideshows. It's probably not, that's not a feature I would personally be interested in, probably most people wouldn't be interested in it, but if you are, you can definitely play around with this and see what kind of videos that you can create using this particular mode. So first of all, coming over here, you can see I can play the video if I want to do that. I can use this to go to the next frame. So if I click on this, you can see this over here, this red marker is moving. You're not gonna see much change in my expression because again, it's just going frame by frame. And I can also go backwards frame by frame if I want to do that. And here I can go to the next clip. So I click on that and it takes me to this video clip here. I can change the resolution size. This allows me to preview the volume. Here I can save a snapshot. So if I wanna take a photo, for example, of myself right there, I click on that and I get a screen grab of that photo right there. If 
If I click here, I have some other options. I haven't used these personally, but I can do a high resolution preview, disable the guides, unpin the player, or go into a full screen preview. So what I wanna do now is I wanna go back here to the media bin and take these two clips here, drag them down to the timeline. We're gonna start taking a look and seeing some of the things we can do in terms of editing videos within the Movavi video editor. Coming down over here, first of all, I can scale this so I can zoom in, zoom out on the track, however I wanna do that. Here I have options, so this would be the title track right here. So I can hide that track if I wanna do that. I can also detach the track. So if I have a title here that might be attached to this particular video track, I can detach it so I can move them separately. So they're not, they don't move in unison. Coming here to the video track, I have options for hiding the track, muting it, and enabling gaps. As you can see right here, there are no gaps between these particular video clips, but if I wanna put gaps, I can enable it right here. And then for the sound, I can again mute the track or I can link it. And then coming back up over here, if I wanna add additional tracks, I can click right there to add more tracks. Add video track, add audio track, add title track. So then coming over here to an individual track, if I right click on this, I have a bunch of options here. So I can play or pause it, I can hide it. Here I have a bunch of tools for editing it and I can access a lot of these also along here or along there. I can split the clips. So if I wanna make it in two separate clips, I can do that. I can add a marker, I can insert a freeze frame, I can delete scenes, detach the audio. This is actually something I use a lot so that I can sync the audio and video in my clips. I use the detach audio. So this will take the audio and put it down on the audio track rather than having it be part of the video track. You can copy, cut, clone, delete, show in folder, or ask for file information. So a lot of different options here by right clicking on a video clip. Now let's head up over here and take a look at some of the options over here. So if I click there, first of all, there are a bunch of different filters. There are, I don't even know how many, probably 100 or so different filters that you can add to your video clips. Now I personally don't use these, but if you want to, they are here and they are uh, categorized in different options here. You can also add them to your favorites by clicking there and then they'll show up under the favorites tab. I'm just gonna add this one here, the balloons, because it's very obvious. You'll see you know, right away when it's been added. So I just bring this and drop it on top of that clip and I'll have balloons right here for that entire clip. And you see you get this motion effect with it. It doesn't show up here because I didn't put it on this clip. It doesn't show up there because I didn't put it on that clip. It comes in and goes right there. And I like, it gives you this right here. So if I hover over that, it'll say filter balloon. So I know it's there. And if I click on this, it comes up here and shows me the clip properties and which effects I've applied. Whether it's a video effect or a sound effect, I can then, if I wanna make that less, I can do that less visible. Or I can, you know, if I decide I don't want after all, after all, I can just click right there and remove it. Now let's take a look at transitions. As you see here, the Movavi Video Editor comes with a lot of transitions. There are well over 100 different options for adding transitions to your videos. Now I do have access to a few extra because of the YouTube effects package I bought, but the majority of these are built into the basic editor. You can see here they have them categorized by different types of transitions. And you can also add these to your favorites. So if you cl click here on the heart, it'll get added to your favorites. So let's come back up over here and add this one and see what it does. So you wanna add it in between two clips. I'm gonna add it right here. I personally like to put transitions between when I'm showing my face and when I'm showing my screen. So I'm gonna drop it right in there and we can come back out over here and you can see this blind effect as I scroll across right there. Then if I click here, do a right click, first of all, I can change the transition properties. So I can make this last longer if I want so now you see it goes all the way from here to there. I can make it shorter. I wanna do that, I could add numbers in there as well if I wanna do that, if I wanna make it more exact in terms of the transition duration. Here I can apply to all, all transitions. So the above duration will be applied to all transitions that are currently in our project. So if I wanna do that, I can click right there and have it automatically applied. And then I can <clears throat> fill the transition with trim content, freeze frame, or slow motion. So basically what that means is this affects what media is used to fill the missing parts of the transition. So whichever of the of these that you want, you can choose your option right there. And then 
If I wanna delete it or do anything like that, I can just click here and I can remove the transition or if I want to remove all the transitions from this particular video, I can click right here and do that. Now let's take a look at titles. So again, you see you have here a wide range of titles that come with the Movavi Video Editor. Although again, a few of these did come with the YouTube effects package that I bought, but a lot of these, the, mo the majority of these come built into the editor. Now, again, you have these options here. If you wanna see different types of titles, but I always like to go to all to take a look at all of them. Uh, and again, you can save things as favorites. And the other thing that I like is once you have a title designed the way that you like, you can save it to use it on other videos. And so those will show up here under my titles. So you see here, I have a lower third that I designed. I can just bring this and, you know, drag and drop it right there. And then I can edit for that particular video. So, uh, you know, I can come here, edit the text, edit the color, edit the font, the size, the position of the text, uh, the background, etc. And then here I click there and go to the other line up here where it says my name and I can go through that again. Uh, and then over here, I can edit the clip so I can change the duration right there. I can change the animation speed. I can also come over here and change the duration as well by dragging like that. Uh, and then if you wanna come over here, just to see how this comes into the clip, you see it fades in and at the end, see it fade out. So you can do that with any sort of title, not just the ones you have saved here, but that's one feature that I really like is, again, once you have something designed the way you want in terms of, in terms of a title, you can save it and then reuse it on future videos and you know tweak it, edit it, or just reuse it the same way if you have the same title that you wanna use on all of your videos. Now, the other feature that is listed under titles are the intro videos. Now, there's not a wide range of intro videos that are included with this. And again, I do have a few extra because of my YouTube effects package, but you can check these out and see if there's any that you'd like to use to introduce your video. So we can just take this one here and drop it down there and then click there to edit it. So obviously one of the things you'd wanna edit is the title because you don't want it to say your awesome slogan. So you can come over here to text and type in what you want and obviously edit other things related to the font Then come over here to clip, you can change the duration, change the animation speed and come down here to the background. You can change the fade in, the fade out, as well as the duration. Then when you're done editing it, you just come over here, apply and return. And we can come up here and you can see this intro to your video. So that is a feature it has. Again, there aren't a lot of options for intro videos, but they are there if that's a feature that is of interest to you. Next up over here are stickers. Now I personally don't use these, but again, uh, there are quite a few of them if you have any interest in adding stickers to your videos. And there are some that are related to social media. Uh, for example, if we come up here, you see here a Facebook like button. So you can drop that there if you want into your video. And you know, then you can obviously move this around, change the size of it, make it bigger, make it smaller. Uh, and then if we click here, we can change the animation speed and change the duration. Of course, we can also change the duration here in terms of how long it's on your video. So again, there are a lot of different stickers here if that is something of interest to you in terms of uh, creating your videos. So over here, you have a bunch of options for video editing as well as auto editing. So video editing, first of all, you have options for color adjustment. So you can do auto contrast, auto saturation, auto white balance, magic enhance, or you have different special effects that you can just uh, automatically add, drag and drop onto the video to change the color. Or if you want, you can come over, come over here to advanced and do it manually yourself. Here you have crop and rotate, overlays. So picture in picture, logo overlap, and a few more. Pan and zoom, so top to bottom, right to left, left to right, etc. Stabilization, so it says use this tool to remove camera shake from a selected clip. Uh, I've never actually used this since my camera is always attached to my computer, but this is an option if you want to use it. Animation, so you can animate elements, so rightward, slide right, leftward, slide left, downward, slide down, etc. And then you can also, if you want to create your own, you can do it right here. Highlight and conceal, so if you want to highlight a part of your video, or if you want to conceal part of it, you have that option. Chroma key, if you use a green screen, you have chroma key options. 
scene detection. Uh, it says it automatically detects changes in the video scenes and cuts the video into separate clips according to these changes. Again, not a feature I've personally used, but you know if that's something you want to check out, that is right there. Logo, so you can choose a file for your logo and apply it to your entire video. And then finally, slow motion. So if you want to put your video into slow motion, you can do that as well with these video editing effects. Now in terms of auto editing, first of all, you have an option to synchronize sound between two or more clips. You have an equalizer, you have some presets here if you want to choose one of those. Different ones for music as well as voice, or you can do it manually using these controls here. There's a noise removal option. There are different audio effects you can add, so echo, muffled, telephone, high pitch, low pitch, etc. And finally, beat detection. So select an audio clip to detect its audio beats and show the beat markers on the timeline. So those are different options here for auto editing the or audio editing your the audio of your videos. Another thing that I want to show you real quick are the clip properties. One way to access that is by clicking right here. There are a few other ways to access it, but this is probably the easiest way is just clicking right there. You can see here you can adjust the volume of the clip. Uh, the normalize, I'm not entirely sure what that does. You can change the speed of it, change the fade in or fade out, and also reverse the clip. And then here, if you click on applied effects, any sort of effect that you've put here, whether it's an audio effect or a, uh, for example, a filter will show up here. And then for example, as I showed you earlier, when, I, when we were looking at the filters, you can just uh, go here and edit it or even just eliminate it right here. Then finally up along here, you'll see some of the things we've already taken a look at, but take a quick look here. So under file, you can add media files, create new projects, open projects, save projects, etc. Under edit, uh, you can do undo, clone clip, delete, add marker, detach audio, playback, uh, again, full screen preview, save snapshot, previous frame, next frame, skip backward by half a second, skip forward by half a second, etc. Settings, this is important. You can change the language. So you see here you have a bunch of different languages that you can put this into. Uh, you can also set up preferences there. Look at export in a second. And then here is a bunch of different help information. So user manual, FAQ, uh, their Facebook page. I found they're very responsive on Facebook. So if you have any issues and reach out to them on Facebook, they tend to respond fairly quickly. Um, here you can check for updates. You can visit the homepage. Etc. Then once you're done with your video, you want to export it. So you can click here right on this blue button that says export, or you can come up here. Uh, you can export video, export the audio if you want to only export audio, upload to YouTube, upload to Google Drive, upload to Vimeo. So let's just click here on up, uh, export to video. So you have a bunch of different file formats in terms of exporting it. Uh, you can give it a name, change a save location, change a quality. Uh, this shows the resolution, the duration, and the estimated file size. And then if you click here, you can change the video codec, you can change the resolution size, or you can do it manually here. Change the frame rate, the bit rate, the quality, change the audio, and the audio sample rate. And in my experience, you know, most of my videos are about 15 to 30 minutes long. It generally takes roughly five to eight minutes to export. So in my opinion, it's very fast. It's, uh, you know, much less than the actual length of the video in terms of the export time. Uh, click on that. Now, if you just, this says save video to the to computer, but this is actually just the audio. So if you only want to save the audio, you have the option right here for that. And again, you have some advanced options. These are, I guess this allows you to directly save to a cell phone. I'm honestly not sure. I've never played with these, but uh, if this is of value to you, also some game stations here. Uh, and these are some other options for cell phones. And then here you can again, upload to YouTube, save to Google Drive or uh, save to Vimeo. So that is my overview of the Movavi Video Editor and what you can do with it. Again, I am very happy with my purchase. I plan to continue to use the Movavi Video Editor to edit my videos. So if you're also looking for a video editor that's easy to use, that's affordable, and that has a wide range of features, then the Movavi Video Editor is one that I can personally recommend. And remember to click on the link in the description below to go to the Movavi Video Editor and check it out for yourself. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.